The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development is a principal organ of the United Nations established in 1964 to deal with issues of trade, investment and development in developing countries to allow them equitably integrate into the world economy. This is achieved through the three pillars, research and analysis, consensus and technical cooperation. Touch on uh, issues that were or are still affecting developing countries, such as how do, how do we stabilize commodity prices, for example, because this was their main exports. So they were given that mandate of uh, doing research, uh, analysis, and advising developing countries on how best they can improve their global trade. UNCTAD was formed on the view that bodies such as General Agreements on Trade and Tariffs, GATT, now WTO, did not address issues raised by developing countries. First of all, UNCTAD is, uh, is important for us. Uh, you know, that's the first thing I'd like to say. Uh, it's been an organization that has been very supportive of the development of our policies, whether they are policies on investment, policies on, uh, on developing our own commodities exchange. You know. So UNCTAD has been a very uh, good partner uh, for Kenya. UNCTAD has had 13 ministerial conferences, first in Geneva, Switzerland, immediately after its formation. Held after every four years, 13 cities have played host. New Delhi, Santiago, Nairobi, Manila, Belgrade, Geneva, Cartagena, Johannesburg, Bangkok, Sao Paulo, Accra, and the 13th in Doha, Qatar in 2012. Nairobi now prepares to host the 14th conference beginning 17th to 23rd of this month, second time lucky. Because after Nairobi, uh, that UNCTAD uh, actually established a program on commodities here in Geneva in the Secretariat. So yeah, so for us it's very, very historic. Um, and then of course uh, uh, we have been very, very fortunate uh, to receive the support of the African group and of the G77 uh, to host this as part of the multilateral, uh, you know, uh, multilateral meetings and conferences that we've been hosting. Well, the UNCTAD the, the 14th meeting of UNCTAD as a meeting of government leaders, UN leaders, and serious business leaders uh, to discuss the mandate and to discuss how can the world today adjust to keep the promise of Agenda 2030. Unlike UNCTAD 13, which focused on enhancing the enabling environment at all levels in support, of inclusive and sustainable development, strengthening all forms of cooperation and partnership for trade, addressing persistent emerging development challenges in relation to their implications on trade and development, promoting investment, UNCTAD 14 under the theme of Decision to Action seeks to ensure the success of the conference is anchored on translating the 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development into action, which will require $3.9 trillion as well as the Addis Ababa Action Agenda and the COP21, among others. We are also confident that uh, although the negotiations are still ongoing, that there's going to be a consensus, and that Nairobi will be definitive in terms of uh, pushing decisions to implementation. This will be perhaps uh, a, a signal moment, as the UNCTAD Ministerial Conference will be the major uh, ministerial conference to follow the uh, tremendous global outcomes of 2015. Therefore, I think many are looking to this conference to see how we walk the walk, walk the talk, and that we have made commitments, and the theme of the conference is from decision to action. So we hope Nairobi will be a lot about moving to action. The meeting comes at a time when emphasis is being laid on the commodities to be addressed at the Global Commodities Forum to allow developing countries increase exports. Other key issues to feature in negotiations are push for special focus on some disadvantaged groups like the youth and women, policy space, role of bilateral and regional trade, as well as international investment agreements. At least 7,000 delegates are expected to attend the conference in Nairobi. Ronald Willey, Business Defined.